good morning yes i bsc student today we are going to discuss on the botany paper first semester first bio 231 choice press treaty system the name of the paper is taxonomy of angels from and plant ecology and from this paper the chapter second systems of classification we already discussed about the various systems of classification was proposed by the different types of the scientist uh, these systems are three systems of classification and additionally it gets supported by the fourth group of the plant discussion so the there are the three systems of classification that is the first system of classification is the artificial system of classification which was proposed by the scientist carl linnaeus what this system is that that is this system is very ancient system where there were no, uh, no more discussion or there is no more discovery of the microscope was done so at that period what may happens that is this uh, system was proposed on the basis of very few characters or very less characters or available characters those were at that time so uh, this system uh, as time is passed or uh, new ideas in the research in the botany was takes place then what happens that is new ideas were there and then this system gets rejected and new system comes in uh, uh, exposure or comes in the uh, that is discussion for the scientist and this system of classification was the natural system of classification which was proposed by the bentham and hooker what this natural system of classification says that this system was the new system and in this system all possible characters or maximum characters were taken under consideration and this system have the maximum characters was discussed by the scientist that is the bentham and hooker and then the artificial system was rejected and the new system for the purpose of the uh, theory and practical was discussed by the scientist and that is bentham and hooker then uh, after this system the third system of classification is the phylogenetic system of classification this system is nothing but the uh, this system is based on the evolution and at that period the evolution was discussed but there uh, this system was uh, rejected or this system is not used by the workers or the scientists because the available information was not there to give the support to this system our evidences were absent or evidences there uh, due to the lack of the evidences this system was rejected and then lastly the bentham and hooker system was uh, used by the different scientists so uh, today we are going to discuss one by one system in this uh, uh, lecture the first of all the uh, additionally these uh, when these workers or these scientists discuss on these various systems of classification then the next one is the group was formed by the different scientist or various scientist from the world and this group is nothing but the angiosperm phylogeny group and this angiosperm phylogeny group is one of the one type of the systems so it also discuss on the different types of the plants different uh, research different types of the changes where takes place time to time so this system uh, this uh, group is also the very important for the botany point of view so first of all we are going to discuss on the artificial system of classification which was proposed by the carl linnaeus as uh, we already discussed uh, about this that is this system is very uh, ancient system of classification because at that time for the sake of convenience this system was proposed and in this system the scientific accuracy was uh, rejected or ignored by the different uh, by the uh, taxonomists those were works at that time and on the basis of very few characters or on the basis of one to two characters and by their uh, uh, understanding this system was proposed by the scientist uh, 
there is no any relationship of the plants with one another in this system and hence why they, this system is known as the artificial that is that is when uh, the plants were are classified at that time the plants uh, may compare with the ancestors of that particular plants but in this system such thing was not there so this system was rejected or this system uh, haven't the any type of the value this system of classification was given by the swedish biologist carl linnaeus and hence it is this carl linnaeus is known as the father of the taxonomy this system was proposed on the basis of one or very few characters which are the convenient characters um, and this system was uh, proposed in 18th century uh, this system was based on uh, different in the uh, difference in the plants rather than similarity of the sex organs such as the very few characters are taken under consideration that is color of flower arrangement of flower length and number of the stamens that is when uh, they have the they consider as a color of the flower suppose their uh, red color is considered so red color is uh, that is one and the same family haven't the uh, red color so uh, only the single character or number of the stamens length of the stamens or the number of the stamens such type of the characters was taken under consideration without any scientific information only morphological characters were taken under consideration in this system and hence this system was not used at that period that is carl linnaeus classified the flowering plants on the basis of floral characters under the 24 classes and these 24 classes are uh, as above the these uh, vegetative characters are neglected while classifying the plants and uh, for uh, the classification uh, of the such type of the system or classification of the plants the different types of the characters are taken under consideration that is number of stamens in the flower insertion of the floral verse on the thalamus arrangement of the anther and the filament and uh, 23 classes covers the characters of the flowering plants and the last one that is 24th class of the this system it covers the um, cryptogamic group uh, of the plants that is particularly algae fungi uh, bryophytes and pteridophytes so these uh, 24 classes given by the linnaeus are such as the class 1 the monoandria the name itself indicates that the flower which having the single stamen mono means single and andria means androsium the flower having the single stamen when the flower having the single stamen then it is known as monoandria so the first class is nothing but the it discussed by the uh, this scientist that is monoandria mono means single androsium and the example of this one is the lamna then the next one is the diandria that is flower no doubt it is the flower with the two stamens that is the salvia which is the member of the family lamiaceae and it have the two uh, androsium which is present in the plants and on the basis of number of the stamens these groups are discussed as monoandria diandria triandria name it said indicates that the three then tetra tetra means the four that is triandria the example is the grasses then tetraandria that is four stamens which are present in the plants then it is mentavirides which is known as the uh, mentha means that is pudina so in this case the there are the uh, four androsia uh, four androsia is there then five androsia is there that is the pentaandria the system uh, given the next class that is pentaandria no doubt the example is the ipomea then after that the hexa name it's uh, continuously the name is said uh, indicates that hexaandria that is flower with the uh, six stamens that is alisma which is the uh, plants here 
then heptandria the flower with seven stamens when the flower have the seven stamens inside then uh, asculus is the example of this one and then octandria the flower with eight stamens uh, the uh, in this way the number of the groups that is in andria flower with nine stamens the member of family ranunculus is there ranunculus and it have the nine stamens is there then decandria flower with no doubt the ten stamens in this way acer is there acer is nothing but the vacant then dodac uh, dodecandria that is flowers 11 stamens see forbia forbia pulcherina or whatever it may be then uh, it is found there then uh, then ecosandria the flower with more than 20 stamens attached to the sepals that is when we take the example of the rose it have the such type of the 20 stamens attached to the sepals then polyandria more stamens more than 20 more stamens are present on the uh, receptacle that is nymphia is there that is uh, no doubt it is lotus and it is known as polyandria then diadenamia diadenamia is the diadenamous condition what is the character of this one flower with two long and two short stamens means the uh, in the in case of the osimum sanctum two stamens are long and two stamens are short and it forms a two groups so, so there is the diadenamia tetradenamia that is four groups are flower with six stamens four long two short such type of the structure is there that is tetradenamous condition two long and two uh, short or four long and two short six stamens are there and it is known as the brassica juncia is there then the uh, monoadelphia adelphia means the formation of the bundle Wh which forms the bundle that is uh, when we take the example of the hibiscus hibiscus rosa sinensis then what happens the flower in which filaments unites and anthers remains free that is when we uh, observe or when uh, you are know the flowers of the hibiscus the hibiscus having uh, in hibiscus flower there is the um, anthers are totally free and filaments are uh, joins together and when they get, uh, joins together it forms a single bundle so it is known as the such single bundle is mono adelphia adelphia means adelphia means bundle it is the uh, part of the such type of the attachment uh, which is known as the cohesion so it is the cohesion the cohesion means what the androsium with its attached with its own part androsium attached with it with its own part so flower in which filaments unites that is the all filaments unites and form a single bundle and anthers remains free example is this one then diadelphia diadelphia means what it forms a two bundle that is flower with stamens having two bundles that is when we take the take the example of the pisum sativa that is the p in case of this p 10 stamens are there and out of these 10 stamens 9 forms a single bundle and the 10th form a single bundle means one bundle is of 9 and the next one bundle is of 10th so it forms a 2 2 bundle di means 2 and adelphia means bundle formation of the bundle by the filaments that is filaments are united and thus remains free it is type of the cohesion cohesion is what attachment of anther with its own part then as same case is that poly adelphia poly means here one here two here three uh, here, here many poly means many flower having the stamens more than two bundles justly more than pisum pisum have the two bundles more than two that is citrus lemon is there that is the citrus lemon is the lemon is there an example of this lemon it have the five to six bundles or the maximum five bundles are there so it is the polyadelphia each bundle is of five and five bundles are there so these uh, flowers having the stamens more than two bundle it is known as polyadelphia then one more concept is there syngeny syngeny is what the syngeny is nothing but the opposite condition of the adelphi here adelphi means what in case of the adelphi 
it is the cohesion no doubt it is also cohesion the attachment of the anthers with its own part same thing is that attachment of anther with its own part so the syngeny is opposite to the adelphi what happens in the adelphi in case of the adelphi anthers remains free and filaments joins together here the opposite condition is there that is the flower in which anthers are united here anthers free here anthers are united and filaments are free when you take example take the example of helianthus anus that is sunflower in case of this one all anthers are united that is five anthers are united and filaments are free this is opposite to the adelphi uh, that is syngeny then gynandria flower with stamens attached to the gynosia this is the example of the calotropis procera in case of this one that is the flower in the that is stam um, uh, that is staminia or the pollinia remains attached to the gynosium uh, with the um, that is pentagonal structure is there uh, of the stigma that is on the stigma the uh, in the calotropis procera the stamens remains or stamens in the form of the pollinia remains attached to the, uh, the um, stigma then 21 class is there monosia flower are unisexual that is male and female flowers are uh, on same plant but they are present on one above the other so flowers are unisexual that is the, the aquatic plant is there that is the uh, hydrophyte plant is there uh, near to the water resources in the shallow water this plant is found there that is the typha which is monocot plant and it shows the monoecious condition monoecious means flowers which are unisexual dioecious flowers are unisexual and develops on the different plants that is salix is there the uh, sex organs those are male on um, male plant female on female plant are there polygamia flowers are bisexual that is any type of the example in which the both the sex organs are present on the one and the same uh, filament in the uh, one and the same flower uh, inside the uh, one and the single flower is there that is polygamia is there then uh, this one is the 23rd uh, class is there and last 24th class is the cryptogamia name itself indicates that this is the group of the plant um, whether the plant kingdom is classified on the basis of presence of the flower or absence of the flower the phenogams are nothing but the group of the plants in which the uh, there is the presence of the flower is in the phenogams they have the presence of the seed but next group opposite to that is the cryptogam name itself indicates that there is the absence of the flower one thing is there and the next one that is the vascular bundles are absent or vascular bundles are not well developed in this group again they have the as the flower the lack of the flower is there vascular bundles are not there plant body is simple simple in the sense there is the thallard plant body is there absence of root stem and leaves and example of this cryptogamic plants are the algae algae fungi bryophytes and pteridophytes as we discuss this algae fungi bryophytes and pteridophytes out of this uh, four this algae and fungi are the group of the plants which comes under the thallophyta what is meaning of thallophyta simple thalloid body they are microscopic or macroscopic again vascular bundles are absent then uh, one more thing the food material or flowers are absent they may produce the food material that is when we take the example of algae they are green in color and they are aquatic they are found in fresh water as well as marine water and they can produce their own food material with the help of the chlorophyll pigment but next group of the plant is the fungi these fungi never produce their food material because there is a lack of chlorophyll pigment and as there is a lack of chlorophyll pigment they depends on the other for the survival and they sucks they absorb the food material from the other members that is 
they uh, may attack on the plants they may attack on the animals they may attack on the dead and decaying matter and then uh, then depends on that there are the different groups of the these fungi are there that is parasitic fungi when they grows on the living plants then saprophytic fungi that is when they grows on dead and decaying matter and then sometimes algae and fungi togetherly joins togetherly forms a compact structure togetherly form a third organism and this third organism when algae and fungi joins together it forms a third organism it is nothing but the lichen then when we discuss on these bryophytes the bryophytes are the group of the plants which are uh, dorsiventrally flat they are found at the hilly region and they are macroscopic not a small and they are nutritionally autotrophic they can produce their own food material but they are uh, macroscopic without microscope we can observe this one and they are found hilly region attached to the rocks and they requires the water for the uh, fertilization and next group is the pterodophyte that is the they are also found the hilly region or where there is the humidity and moisture in the environment there is the presence of these pterodophytes and pterodophytes have the group of the plants which having the presence of the sex organs uh, in the form of sori which are present on the uh, ventral surface of the leaf then uh, we are going to discuss on the merits of the artificial system due to the um, alphabetical manner and number of stamens identification is made very easy because this system is arranged by the certain alphabetical manner and when we wants to be observed when we wants the information about the plant the name of the plant any type of the plant then we can easily identify because there is the alphabetical manner is there then poorly known plants are placed in one class unknown plants are placed in one class because the characters those are taken as a only characters of the color of the flower or number of the stamens but not more discussion about the characters was done in this system and hence this system was used by as a uh, that is poorly known plants are placed in one and the same class even with the expansion of our knowledge this system remains most stable that is when we add the information in the future this system may remains as it is when we add the uh, more characters in this system then uh, limitations are the demerits or drawbacks of this system of classification and the first one is the plant having phylogenetic similarities are placed in different groups due to the few characters due to the unrelated characters what happens that is the plants having the phylogenetically they are similar but they are placed in the different group this is the one and the uh, first drawback or limitation of this system it gives limited information about the plant as just like told you very few characters this system was made for sake of convenience this system was available on the basis of morphological character this system having the less character and the, this system is ancient system and hence in this system very limited information about the plants members are present this system has no or little predictive value there is no any predictive value for this system and then uh, last point is the other examples of artificial system that is theoparastus uh, in between 370 to 287 bc then andrew cisalpino uh, in 1519 to 1603 and john ray uh, 1920 uh, 1627 to 1705 they have proposed the such type of the system so uh, these are the uh, different uh, scientists those have proposed this system so uh, very much thankful to you students then stay home stay safe Have a nice day.